Welcome to this introduction video on how to program with your Robotic Gripper. At this point, your Gripper should be installed on your robot. Tapping the UR Plus button upon starting the robot is an alternate way of activating your gripper. Activate the gripper when you are at your home position, clear of any assets or persons. To start programming with your gripper, Tap the Program button, select UR Caps in the Navigation pane, tap Gripper Activate to add a Gripper Activate node in the program tree. Since the best practice is to nest that node under a Before Start instruction, we will do just that and remove the former activation node. Select the node in the program tree. The difference between the Activate and Reset and Activate options is that the execution of the former will not force the reactivation of the gripper. Next, we will insert a gripper node. Tap the gripper UR cap in the navigation pane, select the node in the program tree and tap the Edit Action button in the command window. Tap the Close button. Now, tap the Open button. Here's a quick overview of the Edit Action window. Please note that speed is an independent parameter. The grasp force of the gripper depends on both the speed and force parameters. So for instance, if you are programming the picking of a fragile object, make sure to enter a lower speed value. The best practice is to fully open or fully close the gripper. This allows the gripper to adapt to the changes in size of a given object. Two reasons can justify a partial open or close of the gripper. Due to space constraints, the user might need to partially close the fingers. Also, Grasping a small object from a partially closed position saves a few tenths of a second. Back to the command window. Unticking the complete gripper motion before next action box can also help save a few tenths of a second. We will now address the grip check feature. Insert a grip check node after the gripper close. In order to check if the object has been found between the fingers, tick the detected radio button. Notice the change in the node's name. It is also possible to perform an action after the non-detection of an object. At the end of the sequence, add a robot move node, followed by a gripper open instruction. Run the program, which includes the picking and placing of the object. In the command window, Select the If Object Detected node, tap the Add Else button. Select the empty node below the Else instruction. Create a pop-up that will be triggered if the object is not detected. Run the program. It should now trigger a pop-up. The non-detection of an object can be used to perform a specific action, trigger an input or output signal, increment a counter, with the Insights monitoring software, and so on. We will now simulate an application in which the user needs to sort out two types of plates by their size. The blue plate measures 50 millimeters, while the red one measures 51 millimeters. Please note that the part size validation is performed exclusively with the gripper. No vision system is used. Let's start with the 50 mm plate. Add a grip check node. Check the validate grip with dimension box. Enter the dimension of the object. Enter the maximum and minimum variations. 
In the child node of the if grip validated instruction, add a pop-up that will indicate the size of the object. We will now handle the case of the 51mm plate. Select the if grip validated node and tap the add else button. Select the new else instruction in the program tree and add another grip check node. Just like you did before, set up the grip check node to detect a 51mm object. Display a pop-up with the size of the object. We will handle the case of an object with a size different from the two previous objects. Select the if grip validated node and tap the add else button. Select the new else instruction in the program tree and add a new pop-up displaying a warning. We can now put the object stacking instructions in place for both the 50 and 51 mm plates using the cut and paste buttons. We will first proceed to the validation of the 50mm tile. Then, we will proceed to the validation of the 51mm tile. Apart from the color, it is virtually impossible to discriminate between the two measurements with the human eye. The resolution of handy makes it possible. Now you know how to program using robotic grippers. Refer to the other videos of this series to program using robotic products.